Welcome back. This is Ben with Bem Tech. Today we're going to be replacing a PS4 Pro hard drive with an SSD. Just a few things that we'll need to accomplish this. We'll need a flash drive so we can put the operating system on to reinstall it on a new hard drive. We'll need the external hard drive to back up all the current data on the hard drive. And of course the new SSD. And we will need a Phillips head screwdriver as well. First thing we're going to need to do is back up the trophies since they are not included in the data backup. So we'll select trophies, hit the option button, and select sync with PlayStation Network. Once that's done, we're backed up on the trophies. The next step is to actually back up the player user data. So we are going to head over to settings. We're going to head down to system. Then back up and restore. Back up the data. Select our external hard drive. And we're going to select to back up everything. If you choose not to back up the applications, you'll need to re-download them or reinstall them. And since it's for my son, I want everything exactly the way it was. Alright, so while we're backing up that data, we're going to head over and download the PS4 operating system. So this is actually on PlayStation support homepage. It's a site called Replacing Internal Hard Drive on the PS4 Pro, and it'll walk you through all the steps here. So underneath the install the PS4 system software on the new internal hard drive, we're going to click on the link under download the software to an external storage. So how to download the system files, um, you'll see download instructions. You actually want to go to the next step. You need the complete system software file, which is under the download instructions on link number two for the complete. So while that is downloading, we're going to go ahead and prepare the flash drive. So we're going to create a new folder called PS4, all capitals. And inside that folder, we're going to create another folder called Update, all capitals as well. So once the download's complete, we need to copy the PS4 operating system to the flash drive. And it is as easy as dragging it over from your download files onto that flash drive in the update folder. The only thing you have to make sure is that file is correctly labeled as ps4update.pup. And that's all capitals. It should automatically download that way, but if it doesn't, you're going to want to rename it to the correct wording. And once you have that flash drive ready to go, let's go ahead and replace the hard drive with our new SSD. Now this is a sand disk that I had laying around. I'm not really sure when or why I bought it. it might have been for the MacBook Pro. Um, if I was buying one today, I might go with something different a little faster. But for our usage, it's going to be a big step over that old disk drive that's in the PS4 Pro. 
go ahead and get ready and flip the PlayStation over. And once you have it upside down, you're going to see a little tab, a little notch on the right hand side of the drive cover. And you're just going to go ahead and pull that cover off. There's nothing holding it on. It's just a little tab. Make sure you don't break the tab. But with that off, we're going to move, remove the Phillips head screw. And with the screw out of the way, we can go ahead and pull that mounting bracket for the hard drive out. And I didn't find it hard to remove. You might need to do a little tug initially but it slid out pretty easy. So once you have that out, we can unscrew the four screws that hold the hard drive in the bracket. Make sure you keep those handy because you will need them to secure the new solid state drive. With that out, it's time to put in the new solid state. Make sure you line it up the exact way the old hard drive was in. And holding it in place, we're going to insert the four screws back in. And with it secure, we're just going to slide the bracket back in place with a firm push at the end. And we're going to reinsert the secure screw, secure it in place. Replace the cover, putting one side in first and snapping it in place. And with the PlayStation back together, we're going to go ahead and install the operating system. So we'll rehook the PlayStation back up to the TV and we're going to boot it up. Now, the first time I did it, I initially did not have the controller connected via USB. To the PlayStation. So you'll see I have the connected dual shock with USB cord. So I had to go ahead and plug it in. And when you boot up, you're going to enter safe mode by pressing and holding the power button until you hear the second beep. Once you're there, you'll enter the safe mode menu. You're going to want to pick option number seven, uh, reinstall the system software. You're going to plug your external drive or your flash drive in. You're going to select it and it will go through the process then of installing the operating system warning that all the data will be deleted of course we haven't put the data on it yet so that's no worries and once it's installed we're going to set it up uh, you do have to go through the initial setup which most of it you can skip but you're going to select your language and I kind of skipped over setting up the internet and everything since it's all backed up. Of course you can see my tripod with a camera on it there. Once we're on the home screen, this will give us a chance to go ahead and restore our player's data. We're going to plug in our external drive that has all the previous player data on it. Then we will head up to set assist, or settings, <laughs> go down to system, back up and restore. And we're going to restore the PS4. We're going to select that file on the hard drive. And another warning, all the data will be deleted. But we want to go ahead and do that. And we are going to restore to the previous settings on the old hard drive. And once it reboots, that is it. We're up and running. The reasons why I did this was basically when we would get an update file, 
it would download rather quickly but the actual copying of the file to the hard drive took quite a while longer so with the new SSD installed you'll see the boot times quicker the downloads and installs will even be quicker and overall it just makes it a slightly snappier system so I hope you enjoyed this good luck let me know how you do